What's up guys, it's me Vicstar123 with some team hipfire only gameplay, only use me hipfire, whatever you want to call it. And for this one, um, it had to be none other than the UMP, my favourite submachine gun on Modern Warfare 3, simply because you can do exactly what I'm doing in this game and just tear people off without even having to aim down sight. Obviously on the long range shots it would have been quite useful, but um, if you stick to close quarters, use it as if you're using a shotgun, you'll find that it actually excels in the situation so yeah this has to be my number one ump extended mags hip firing for days it's all you need so anyway little update on what is going on right now so um i'm sitting here should be revising but you know what else is new so um as you may or may not know i just got two kills stolen by downey no what um what i was going to say is next week i have um four exams i have um all three science exams and my core one maths exam then the week after I've got statistics and decision maths exams so um, absolutely mad amounts of revision to be getting done and uh, Downey saved my life there so I guess that makes up for uh, the kill, kill ceiling you can hear him shouting at me there because I was like I was like stop being paranoid stop shooting me I was like I just saved your life so yeah that's kind of random um, and I have got yeah six exams next week so I've been doing as much revision as I can but I'm trying to keep the videos coming and doing the live streams that kind of stuff so I do appreciate the immense amount of pressure that I'm under at the moment so um, you know any support um, is appreciated especially at this point in time when I'm trying my very hardest to keep everything ticking over um, hopefully not at the um, expense of my grades so should uh, fingers crossed that should all go well and actually I'll let you know how that goes once it's all sorted with so another thing I wanted to say was massive thanks for all of the great suggestions for these kind of gameplays I've got a huge list and we're just slowly getting through them but there are some ones that are going to be really challenging some that are going to be really fun really different kind of stuff so um, massive thanks for the suggestions but what I'm starting to see again and it's slipping into the same phase it was in in Black Ops which got me really frustrated is there's a lot of people suggesting um, game types and gameplays that we've already um, we've already gotten already have been uploaded to this channel so what you will notice that I've done is I've made a playlist and also a show for Team Random Weapons this whole series and um, if you click the hyperlink the blue link in the uh, title of the video then that will take you to the show you can actually subscribe to the show and then you'll get notified every time an episode of this gets uploaded just um, make sure you don't miss any and you can also review and go back and look at all of the ones we've done so far and this is going to be um, you know the more episodes I put out this is going to become more and more useful so I really do implore you to check it out um, subscribe whatever and you know just scroll up and down just check there's um, you know there might you might find something really interesting that you might have missed in there um, all sorts of different stuff and it's just going to continue, you know, it's just going to fill up. I'm aiming to get to 100 rap random weapon episodes on MW3. I mean, I've easily got enough suggestions from you guys. It's just a matter of finding the time to get online and get these games because some of them can just consume time. So obviously after my exams are finished, I'm going to have a lot more time to get on live streaming these, get the gameplays put together, all that kind of stuff. And Bullseye V1 is coming together really well, starting to get um, a decent amount of clips and Sleep for Shady has actually started editing it. Um, a confirmed date I can't really put out yet because um, you know, it's unpredictable until the project gets a little way in and then you can actually predict how long it's going to take him to finish. But um, it is going to be, you know, it's going to be up to the standards. So, um, yeah, stay tuned for that. That is going to be coming at some point in the future. And um, you'll notice that I'm actually drop shotting quite a lot. And just hip firing and drop shotting in combination, you'll find that I do it a heck of a lot. Not nearly as much as I used to, but I do it a lot. And in most situations, it can just save your life because um, that's why I play on tactical button layout. So I can press B and you'll notice that I can aim as I'm going prone. If you play on default button layout with the analog stick that you push in to go prone, you'll notice that you can't actually aim and um, drop at the same time. Now a lot of people get around this because they aim then they drop, but I can do it simultaneously which is just so useful, especially when you're playing um, with the uh, like this with the aggressively with the SMGs and that's that's the way I do tend to play because I find it the most interesting and I asked this in the live stream and I got loads of really interesting responses so I'm going to ask it for you guys uh, in the comments right now 
I want to know what you guys think of my playstyle because you obviously watch my videos and see the way I play. And I often, uh, you know, I find it really interesting watching other YouTubers and other gamers, especially the competitive players, the pros, play and the way they play and how it's slightly different. But then, you know, you'll notice things are the same. So uh, take a look at my gameplay and let me know what you think of it. Do you play in a similar way? Do you play differently? Is there something that you think I do that's a bit foolish? Um, you know, something I keep doing over and over again that works out quite well. You know, I'd be interested to uh, get some feedback on that and just hear a little bit more about that. So yeah, by all means, drop a comment saying that. Oh, and as you noticed there, I was going for a kind of stupid 360 kill, but JDD just makes it look easy. We're going back to the... Uh, old way of doing things from MW3, just going for those crazy messing around kill cams. Here we go, JDD with the 360 no scope hip fire. Thanks for watching guys, please leave a like and favourite and I'll look forward to reading your comments.